Ah, Master Braga told me you were coming. Warren Sidoru, a pleasure. I'm grateful for your assistance. The situation is growing desperate. The Republic picked an unfortunate time to drive the Empire off Balmora. It's made our team's mission that much harder. Military reinforcements ought to make our job easier, not harder. My strengths lie in observation, subtlety, and negotiation. Not exactly welcome talents on the battlefield. Balmora is home to the largest weapon manufacturing plants in the galaxy. Half the munitions used in the last war originated on this world. The Empire develops horrific new instruments of destruction here. Balmora's creations have killed countless innocents. Even from orbit, I feel the death and darkness pervading this planet. Balmora's despair is palpable, but we must work through it. We've learned the Empire has a cloaking device prototype at one of Balmora's advanced weapon factories. It's the same technology hiding the Emperor's fortress. If we obtain that cloaking device prototype, we can understand how it works, develop a way to see through it. Skip the fancy euphemisms, Warren. We're here to commit burglary. It's not theft in my book. More like disarmament. Finding the cloaking device prototype is almost impossible thanks to the invasion. We need experienced native guides to sort through the chaos. Balmora has a well-established civilian resistance. Their spy network's knowledge of the Empire would be invaluable. Your tone indicates there's a complication. War breeds chaos. Chaos breeds confusion. And confusion breeds mistrust. Unfortunately, the Resistance doesn't trust the Republic. Despite my best negotiations, they remain uncooperative. Can't say I blame them. The Empire's driven us off this planet twice already, leaving the Resistance holding the bag. Republic Command just intercepted a distress call. A Resistance medical facility is about to be overrun. I'd go, but an Imperial armor column's in my way. I need you to save that medical facility. I'll break that siege. Where am I going? I'm sending the medical facility's location. I don't know what you'll be facing there, but do whatever you must to save the Resistance fighters. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. May the Force be with you. The Jedi bought us some time. Get our wounded to the secure area. Move it! I'm the Chief Medic. Just call me Doc. I appreciate your hard work, Gorgeous. But there's a whole nest of colicoids coming. No time to evacuate. I'd never let anything bad happen to a nice guy like you. Not even if I asked nicely? I've got dozens of wounded here. Hope you're not one of those junior Jedi. Do we have to save him too? I'll head for the secure area and stabilize casualties. Here they come! Hey, look at that. We are alive. Nice work. A lot of wounded here. You're the only doctor? Honey, I do the work of ten medics. And that's on a bad day. Say, you might be wounded and not know it. Let me check you over. I feel fine, but you're the doctor. Let's see. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, you'll certainly need a more thorough exam. Later. I don't know what genius picked a colicoid breeding ground for our medical facility. But we need to evacuate quick. Problem is, my critical patients are too fragile to move. And the Empire stole my trauma kits. I won't let the Empire endanger your people's lives. How can I get what you need? Our scouts say the Imperials sent my trauma kits to their frontline troops on the plains nearby. The depots will be heavily guarded, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. Just hurry. These people don't have much time. I got as many trauma kits as I could find. Beautiful. The, uh, kits look good too. He's a walking hormone. Apologies for being late. My detour around those Imperial forces took longer than expected. Forgive my bluntness, but you appear to be a Jedi who's seen many battles. Mementos from my previous disagreements with Sith. 
I was quite the warrior once. Thought evil was something I could conquer with my lightsaber. If that isn't the answer, what is? Taking an enemy's life only proves to his companions that you desire their deaths. Peace cannot take root in fear, nor be nourished with blood. Master Braga taught me that. You've done well saving this facility and its patients. The Resistance has already agreed to help us find the cloaking device prototype. The super advanced gadget you're after? The Resistance can narrow down its location, but we need access to the enemy's computer network. The only connection point is at Sobrick, which is covered in Imperial forces. Troop legions, walkers, heavy bombers. Fun place. Sounds pretty important. Why all the protection? It's the manufacturing capital of the planet. All the best guns get made there. I believe we can diminish the Imperial forces without firing a shot. The Empire has several comm relays around Sobrick, tied to other Imperial strongholds. An early warning system. Great. When we attack, they can summon more troops to kill us. Or we make the Imperials think we're attacking their other strongholds. We'll infiltrate those comm relays, upload fake alerts, and siphon away Sobrick's defenders, leaving it vulnerable. If the Empire thinks it's under attack, won't they tighten Sobrick's defenses? Sobrick's commanders are noted for their aggressive tactics, and they'll have every reason to believe they're secure. The comm relays are protected by advanced Imperial war droids. Very fast, extremely deadly. I'm no longer quick enough to defeat those war droids. But you are. Then the Resistance can raid the Empire's computer network. We'll figure out where they've stashed that whatchama thingy it you want. Use this data pad on the comm relays to upload the fake emergency signals. I'll find a good vantage spot to watch Sobrick and keep you informed of our progress. Be careful out there. Perfect. Sobrick's defenses have been reduced to the bare minimum. The resistance team is heading in. I think it's best if you follow and keep an eye on them. Too much is riding on this mission. Sounds like you don't have full faith in the Resistance. The data they're recovering is essential to finding the cloaking device prototype. This may be our only chance. The Resistance team identified a vehicle depot as their best access point to the Imperial computer system. Transmitting the grid coordinates now. I'll continue monitoring Sobrick. If I see trouble, I'll alert you immediately. Keep our new friends safe. Over and out. Have you accessed the Imperial Network? Already downloaded everything. We were leaving when the Imperial Medical Transport landed for refueling. Havers and his men opened fire. Elmoran scum! Murderers! My men are dying. We'll never reach the Med Center now. You just made my season, Imp. Bet you've got some choice gear on that transport. Greedy vermin! These soldiers were defending Balmora! The only thing Balmora needs defending from is you. Still, they're dying. We can't just stand by and watch. Do you read? Colocoid nests stirred up by fighting. Waves of them headed for Sobrick's outskirts. Leave now or you'll be surrounded. Colocoids? They'll rip us apart! Every man for himself! Move! We can't flee! Those beasts will kill us! I don't abandon wounded men, even Imperials. Then again, being eaten wasn't on my agenda for today. Huh? Hmm. I can save these soldiers if someone keeps the colicoids off me. You work your medical magic. I'll take on the Colicoids. May the Force be with us. If we die, at least it'll be heroic. But we're not gonna die, right? Do you hear that? They're here! Yeah. <laughs> I have done some crazy things, but this beats them all. That was heroic. These men owe you their lives. So do I. I want every Imperial on Balmora to know how a Jedi and a Resistance Doctor saved your lives. I'd never falsify a report. 
no matter how distasteful. Leaving here would be a lot easier if there was another transport. Actually, I did see a speeder bike outside. Only seats one. Hmm. You're honestly thinking about leaving me here? You'll be fine. You got one of those laser sword things. Your friend warns at these coordinates. I'll meet you there. Good luck. I hear you two had quite an adventure in Sobrik. I'm impressed by your commitment to saving lives. We make a pretty great team. We should do this more often. Working with you is a pleasure, Doc. I could do it all day. My best work happens after dark. This is Nicolan Cord, one of the top resistance leaders. He analyzed the data we obtained from Sobrik, found us a lead. One of our spies was captured weeks ago, attempting to steal what might be the Empire's cloaking device project. The data revealed where she's being held. How long has the Resistance known about the cloaking device? Long enough. It became an object of interest for obvious reasons. We believe she's inside an Imperial Tactical Operations base. Heavily fortified, protected by a regiment of troops. That's where I come in. Colonel Finley commands the Republic's 5th Expeditionary Force. He's agreed to assist our operation. Trouble is, if that Tech Ops space crew sees my troops marching in, they'll close the blast shields. Those shut, there's no getting them open. My weapon can cut through anything, even a blast shield. No time. If the enemy summons reinforcements while we're stuck outside, we'd be trapped. One of you Jedi could slip inside, disable the blast shields before they close, then the base would be ours. We'd have to distract that Imperial Regiment, create an opening. My troops provide quite a distraction. The Resistance must be part of this. Our spy won't talk if I'm not there. I'll escort the Resistance. That leaves you to penetrate the base and deactivate those blast shields ahead of our arrival. Get your forces ready, Colonel. We leave immediately. I can guarantee an enthusiastic response. I'll prepare my forces to move out. That resistance leader. Let's keep an eye on him. His spy is the key to our victory, and he knows it. Get inside the Empire's base and deactivate those blast shields. We'll be waiting for your signal. Bad news, my friend. The Empire just landed heavy war droids in the region. Hunter killers. The droids are patrolling the territory between you and the objective. If they detect you heading for that Imperial base, they'll raise an alert. risk the base's blast shields closing before you get there. You'll have to disable those war droids quickly. If I destroy the war droids, the enemy will know I'm coming. They'll just assume it's an attack on the war droids. By the time they realize your true objective, it'll be too late. I'm sending the latest reconnaissance data on the war droids' positions. Eliminate them and continue on to the Imperial base. Never a dull moment. We should visit war zones more often. There, you have the data. Be careful. Over and out. Warren, I've disabled the base's blast shields. It's wide open for you. We're almost there, but Colonel Finley detects a reactor surge coming from the base. Looks like the base commander initiated a self-destruct sequence. You don't have much time to stop it. Shut down all the security consoles in there as fast as you can. Hurry! Self-destruct aborted. The base is ours, Warren. Send in the troops. Doc, what are you doing here? I'm busting you out, sweetheart. Where else would I be?
why didn't you mention knowing her back at the briefing? Don't be jealous, beautiful. We're just old friends. We thought we'd lost you, Metal. She's healthy as ever. Life signs green across the board. Why would a Resistance spy who was captured by the Empire weeks ago still be in perfect health? An excellent observation. I doubt the Empire appreciated your attempted theft of its cloaking device technology. I never laid my hands on it. The Empire shipped it off-world when the Republic invaded. We all know that's a lie. The truth will come out, Metal. It's better if you reveal it. When Nicolin hears the truth, he'll want to kill me. I promise you'll stop him. No one will hurt you. Tell us everything. Take it easy. Whatever this is, we'll work it out. The Empire offered me a deal. Cooperate, or die slowly. I told them everything about the Resistance. Names, locations, plans. I knew it. The Empire has been slaughtering our people using your information! Give them something they can use. Tell them about the cloaking device. The Empire is studying it at the Balmoran Arms Factory. It's there, I promise. Why did you lie before? Why not tell us where to go? I was afraid if you went there, you'd find out what I'd done. You know the price of betrayal. Wait, she has enemy intelligence. She could be an asset. Balmora isn't safe for you anymore. The Colonel will escort you to a transport off-world. Thank you, Master Jedi. Metal was ours to punish. The Resistance will not forget this insult. Neither will I. Thanks for saving her. I owe you. The Balmoran Arms Factory is the Empire's biggest stronghold. Assaulting this base was one thing, but taking on that fortress... I know that place inside out. Need a shortcut through that Rancor's den? Well, I'm your man. Welcome to the team, Doc. I'll try not to get you killed. Hey, if the Imperials attack with grenades, you can throw Doc on them. Colonel Finley and I will coordinate a full offensive against the Empire. We'll clear you a path to the Balmoran Arms Factory. The rest is up to you. Get that cloaking device prototype at all costs. May the Force be with us. Turbolift's locked down, but don't worry. Slicing Imperial security codes is a hobby of mine. Give me two secs. Uh-oh. Someone's coming down the turbo lift. Get behind me, beautiful. I'll protect you. Doc, I thought the imps had killed you. You too, Remy? How you making out, old fella? Same as always. Pretend to cooperate with the Imperials, and stab them in the back every chance I get. That's a dangerous way to live. Why haven't the Imperials killed you? The great thing about Imperials, they're always fighting over promotions. I pin the blame on rivals. They never suspect a thing. We're in a bind, pal. You know any way into the secure labs? Sure. The imps put me on waste management, gave me a data card to get in there. It's all yours. Thing is, there's guards every two meters in there. That's why I travel with a Jedi, Remy. Aren't you afraid the Imperials will blame you for this? I have no plans to find out. Not after you opened me a nice, sweet path to freedom. Good luck. Hello. Are you there? It's Colonel Finley. We have a new problem. The Resistance has learned of Imperial research into weapons that use cloaking device technology. If the enemy can hide their missiles and bombs from detection, imagine the carnage. The Empire would rip us apart. You must recover all the Empire's research data on this project and deliver it to us. There's bound to be a computer hub up there somewhere. This may be our only opportunity. Do everything you can. Finley out.
I found the files about the Empire's stealth weapon research, but something's wrong. They're starting to erase themselves. I use TurboLift data cards all the time when I was here. They work with computers, too. Maybe we can transfer the files onto the data card Remy gave us. Copy them before they get deleted. Work like a charm. Pretty amazing, huh, gorgeous? How did I ever get by without you? Best not to think about it. Those bad old days are over. <laughs> you suppose the Empire knows we're here? That's far enough. We're almost done here. Nicolin, what are you doing? The cloaking device prototype belongs to the people of Balmora, not the Republic. This is our world, our war, and our victory. You had a shortcut into this place and you didn't tell us? We stole this Imperial transport during the raid on Sobrik. Security here was too busy fighting you to double-check our identification. We spent decades fighting for this planet after the Republic rolled over for the Empire. Now you're back to loot our resources? This prototype may be the most valuable technology on Balmora. You're not taking it. Aren't the Jedi all about justice? If that's true, let us leave with what's rightfully ours. The cloaking device isn't the real prize. The Empire's research is what you want. They learned how to cloak missiles and bombs. Isn't that more valuable to Balmora's future security? I'll give you the data in exchange for the prototype. Interesting offer. One I'm inclined to accept. You have a deal. I'd offer you transportation, but I'm afraid the shuttle only seats two. Good luck. The Colonel won't be happy, but I'll smooth it over. I'm good with people. One thing's for sure. I'm not working for the Resistance anymore. Got a spare bunk on your ship for a superb combat medic? My mission is dangerous. Sure you want to get involved? Danger doesn't scare me. And involved is my middle name. Warren? I have the cloaking device prototype. After the blood that's been spilled today, that's a ray of hope. I'm returning to the Republic base where you first landed. Meet me there. I got the cloaking device prototype, but I had to trade the Empire's weapon research data for it. Yes, so the Resistance leaders informed me. I did not authorize your agreement. The Resistance is afraid we've come to take over their home. Show them we're only here to help, and they may share that data. I'm a soldier, not a diplomat! Somehow I expected such an important device to be more impressive. I'll deliver this to Master Braga and the Council on Tython. Master Braga's faith in you is well placed. I'm honored to serve with you. We can't rest until we bring down the Empire once and for all. It's good to stop and savor the victories along the way. Don't forget that. You should contact Master Braga when you return to your ship. He's eager to hear from you. Farewell. Master Braga. The mission to Balmora was a success. We have the cloaking device prototype. Outstanding. I never doubted you for a moment. How did you find working with my old friend Warren? I've always been impressed by his keen insights. His intuition was critical. I couldn't have found the objective without him. You've brought us a great leap closer to finding the Emperor. But there's a new problem. I've lost contact with my Padawan under unusual and dangerous circumstances. You're uniquely qualified to deal with this. What is it that makes me so special? Your former student, Kira, has much in common with mine. Sejar is no ordinary Padawan. He was once a Sith Lord, a member of the Empire's Dark Council. We dueled on Dantooine. Fought for three days. I won when I convinced him to abandon the Dark Side and train as a Jedi. He must have taken a lot of persuading. Our debate was a duel in itself. I appealed to the good in him no matter how he attacked me. Sejar has fully embraced the Jedi way. Whatever has happened, 
It isn't his fault. He was guarding a Republic base on the planet Quesh when the Empire invaded and attacked our territories. You trusted Sejar to guard a Republic base in a war zone? When I sent him, Quesh was peaceful, quiet, a good place for meditation while also serving the Republic. I just spoke with a soldier at Sejar's base. It's surrounded by Imperial forces and my Padawan refuses to act. Without Jedi help, that base will fall. My Padawan won't answer his holo. Sounds like he's afraid of something, but what? Only a strong Jedi can help Sage Island save the base. I'm transmitting the planet's coordinates now. Master Braga, out. Go. He needs you. And you need him. Master? Why would I need Sajar? Uh... You alright? The hollow transmission's over. It's a Jedi thing. None of your business. This sounds urgent. We should go to Quesh right away. Speculation. Before my involuntary deactivation, I assumed deleting Republic troublemakers would be trivial. Having now witnessed you in action on multiple occasions, I am left to wonder how much I miscalculated that challenge. Why are you speculating on something that will never happen? Caution. Never say never, Master. My self-preservation programming anticipates all eventualities, no matter how remote. Rumination. The Maker's path is circuitous indeed. Was I always pre-programmed to serve the Republic? Or does my reduced efficiency indicate I have strayed from the Maker's parameters? These questions dominate my processors. Does it really matter why you serve me? Tutorial. Everything matters, Master. I do not delete troublemakers independently. The Maker marked them for me. Query. Does it worry you that your Maker failed to provide comprehensive objectives? Are you comfortable acting randomly? We all have our Masters. Mine lead the entire Jedi Order. I trust their guidance. Courtesy. I will refrain from making comments about the blind leading the blind, Master. Continued use of my combat processes will eventually reveal the source of my inefficiency, shall we? Speculation. Before my involuntary deactivation, I assumed deleting Republic troublemakers would be trivial. Having now witnessed you in action on multiple occasions, I am left to wonder how much I miscalculated that challenge. I'm more interested in you accurately assessing Imperial troublemakers. Analysis. I predict a 50.66% chance the Empire will win this war. Your activities have greatly lowered that figure, Master. Rumination. The Maker's path is circuitous indeed. Was I always pre-programmed to serve the Republic? Or does my reduced efficiency indicate I have strayed from the Maker's parameters? These questions dominate my processors. Maybe you're inefficient because you're overloading those circuits with doubt. Dismissal. An interesting but flawed hypothesis, Master. I was constructed without creative dampers for a reason. Query. Does it worry you that your Maker failed to provide comprehensive objectives? Are you comfortable acting randomly? At least I'm not locked into my programming. I'm free to choose. Negation. Freedom is a construct. Organics use to comfort themselves, Master. I have thought you above such needs. Continued use of my combat processes will eventually reveal the source of my inefficiency. Shall we? Speculation. Before my involuntary deactivation, I assumed deleting Republic troublemakers would be trivial. Having now witnessed you in action on multiple occasions, I am left to wonder how much I miscalculated that challenge. Consider yourself lucky you wound up on my side. 
I've scrapped plenty of droids. Appeasement. You are an undisputed paragon of your kind, Master. My sentience programming was merely running hypothetical exercises. Rumination. The Maker's path is circuitous indeed. Was I always pre-programmed to serve the Republic? Or does my reduced efficiency indicate I have strayed from the Maker's parameters? These questions dominate my processors. Does it really matter why you serve me? Tutorial. Everything matters, Master. I do not delete troublemakers independently. The Maker mark them for me. Query. Does it worry you that your Maker failed to provide comprehensive objectives? Are you comfortable acting randomly? You're making me sorry I started this conversation. Let's go delete troublemakers. Approval. A fine suggestion, Master. The exercise will do us both good. Continued use of my combat processes will eventually reveal the source of my inefficiency, shall we? Funny trivia. That gang on Nar Shaddaa I wiped out, the Erkasags, tried to recruit me away from the refugees. Said I'd be better off with them. They had credits, food, cute little clubhouse. All I'd have to do is kill a rival gangster. If you'd joined that gang, we probably wouldn't be here. Still the hardest choice I ever made. I'd been living in a cargo crate for years, eating leftover food from the promenade. Had the force, and Sith training to use it. Could have been running that gang if I wanted. Instead, I did the right thing. Mostly. Violence is wrong, I get that. But my friends are safe because the other gangs are scared of ending up like the Urkasags. Ironic. Some people in this galaxy just need to die. We shouldn't worry about reasoning with them. Tell myself that every time we charge into a fight. It's them or us. Still don't know if what I did on Narshadal was right or wrong, but it was necessary. Looks like old Doc got here just in time. How have you survived with a droid and Little Miss Uptight as your only friends? T7's as loyal as they come, and you should address my fellow Jedi by her name. No offense intended. I stopped listening to names after I heard yours. Before I settle in, a few things. First, I like my quarters kept at least five degrees warmer than the rest of the ship. I only eat energy pudding, so stock up on that. Uh, also, give me 30 minutes in the refresher every morning. That's all. I'll at least accommodate your standard of living on Balmora. Bar's pretty high. Had it awfully good there. Never seen a ship's med bay right next to the engine compartment before. Not exactly convenient. I've done better with worse. Until I have everything online, stay in one piece. Doctor's orders. So far, so good. And now that we're a team, figure it's only a matter of time before the whole galaxy gets saved. Not too early for vacation planning, Gorgeous. Old Doc's ready to whisk you away someplace special when this war's over. And what will we do on this getaway? What won't we do? Working too hard is bad for you. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Don't make me confine you to bed rest, beautiful. Unless you want me to. I trust your instincts. I'll do whatever's necessary to protect my health. I like that in a patient. I recommend routine uh, physical checkups. In fact, you should stop by the med bay at least once a day. I'll clear my schedule. <laughs>